All right, the new episode of Hello Flash just, just aired today. Although you're not going, although this is going to be uploading about a week after, to so like avoid copyright and stuff, so I can get a handle on it. And I bought a new shirt to celebrate the new Hello Boss season. So, uh, well, I took every took up yarn work over the hiatus. How about you guys? <laughs> Anyway, let's just get on with this. Three, two, one, play. We're gonna see Baby Solus. Young prince, you know excitement is unbecoming of a Goisha. Oh, right. But father told me today is the day I am old enough to know my purpose and responsibility. Of course, oh, I'm sure it will be wonderful. Is my little uh which son is this one? There are so oh fucking God. many. Stolas, your highness. Stolas, yes. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's the one. The old boy. Well, my little one, it is finally your day of becoming a true part of the Goisha family. How good for you. Are you ready to know what you will be meant to do to serve hell? Yes, father. You will be entrusted with the study of the Earth's skies, the stars, the prophecies they hold, all that stuff. Isn't that fun? You will begin the studies of your grimoire, which will grant you access to the mortal realm to study and observe, and you will grow to be a mighty prince of hell with your own legions to lead and pass on your knowledge to. I will do my best, father. Wonderful. Also, son, you are destined to sire a precautionary addition to the Goisha family, so you are now engaged. Congratulations. Isn't she charming? Oh, no. Oh. us oh. evil from the very beginning. Holy fuck. Oh, that's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? <laughs> that usually works. Would you like it if I took you to the circus in town? Children enjoy the circus, right? Would that distract you enough from your non-negotiable future marriage? Is there a spot that is close to the front, but also far enough that I don't have to oh, smell the pool? <laughs> Too much sugar. Mm -hmm. It's called 
Laminitis. <laughs> what a show! <laughs> that was real great. So, uh, <clears throat> that little clown you have, my son really enjoyed that one. I was wondering if I could buy him. Buy him? Purchase him. Yes, accurate. My son doesn't have any friends, you see, and he liked the little clown boy. It's his birthday. He's so sad, and I don't want to deal with him. Can I write a check? Well, Fizzaroli is a big draw. He has a few more shows to be in today, so it would be pretty expensive. <laughs> no, no. The other one. Blitzow? Correct. How much? Uh, well, he's my son, so... Uh, uh, how much you got in your pocket? A watered up five in a slim fit condom. Yeah, that's plenty. Done. Splendid. Fetch him for me and we will be on our way. What you have to do, man? I have an egg pudding and I like to dance. I am a warm horse. Tonight, I am sad. Why are you sad, warm horse? Because I have no legs. Oh. Well, that's okay. I lost the my legs in the war. <gasps> the war? Yes, the great pirate. The war. No, no pirates. It's the great pirate. The war. If you keep talking about pirates, I will punch you. I <laughs> fought bravely, but I could not run fast enough. They took my legs. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> Oh no, ew, no blood. Blood is disgusting. No, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, Banana Pudding is here to save the day. With his magical feet, he dances around with. He will dance all over War Horse to make him feel better. And then. There'll be more of Oh, that's so, that's so gross. Stop. <laughs> I got a job for you. You are going to spend the day with one of the Goisha princes. Ew, why? Because money. Now listen carefully. You were being brought out to be his playmate. But I want you to steal as much from those rich fuckers as you possibly can. Steal? But what if I get caught? Don't you want your family to be able to buy a bigger tent? Better food? Don't you want to be able to help me and your mama out? Of course I want to help Mama. Then you gotta do this. Everything those rich fucks have will be worth a fortune. But if I'm caught, I'm scared, Dad. There are scarier things, aren't there, son? But... <laughs> yes, Papa. <laughs> Here is your new friend, my son. A happy birthday. A friend? I guess. Hi. Uh, I'm Blitza. I'm Stoneless. It's nice. Ouch! Don't bother that one. He bows to us, idiot. Oh, right. Sorry, father. I'm so good at daddying. No, you're not. This is my book on the difference between frogs and toads. There's a lot of differences. And this is my book on plants and herbs. Did you know plants can hear you? Plants are boring. Is it? Okay, to be real, as a autistic, when I was an autistic child, I would probably be really good friends with like little Stolas. Because I would probably be hyper fixating on that stuff. And you probably share interests and stuff like that. This is all boring stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never had a friend to share my books with. You know it would be fun? A game. Let's play Treasure Hunt. What's that? It's where we pretend we are pirates and we go around the house collecting all the nicest things and then we throw them out the window. We Throw them out the window? Yes. Since when did pirates throw things out windows? Since, like, the dawn of time? Come on. Pirates are always throwing stuff out windows. I don't think they had windows. What? Did a book say that? Yes, actually. Several. Well, in this game, we're throwing them out the window because it's fun. Well, that's an odd game. 
Is this an imp game? Sure. Why not? Well, if it's what you want to play, let's do it. the living world. The living world? Like the one with humans and stuff? Where the sinners come from? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yes. I'm supposed to learn to use it to study the sky. Why? My dad says I can find prophecies, but I don't really know. But I'm supposed to. That's what my job will be when I grow up, to join the rest of the Goisha family. Well, you know what I'm going to do when I grow up? I'm going to run my own circus, and I'm going to be the most famous imp ever, and I'll be able to do what I want to do all day. I'm going to make so much money and buy myself a big building with a big office. A big office? For a circus? Yeah, a big office. Circus business will grow the horses, and the horses will have good names like Stapler and Biscuit Queen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That sounds like a good business. Yeah, and if you apply, I'll hire you. Maybe. <laughs> You'll hire me? Yeah, if I feel like it. Well, I hope I qualify. <laughs> You'd be a good boss. You say that with sarcasm, but I totes would. <laughs> scrawny twig ass.
have anything stronger than this. We have absinthe, your highness. Bring me all of it. Stole us, sir! <laughs> We got this nasty imp trying to sneak into your chambers. What should we do with him? Into my chambers, really? Oh, well, that is concerning. <clears throat> Leave him to me. I will handle him accordingly. <laughs> Follow me, imp. Galicia designs. I don't see Kavius or Ossages or Keelys. Yeah, I want to see Keelys, Ostriches, and Emus, and maybe Castleberries as Galicias. That'd be, that'd be fucking awesome. Look, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your whatever the party. I, I was just trying to. Don't bother with excuses. I know why you were here. You do. Yes, you were here to ravish me, weren't you? Uh, mm. you? Why else would you be breaking into my room? You could have asked to visit, you know. It's been a long time, but I have a very good memory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I figured, you know, since you're a prince and all, it might just be easier to scale the walls and slip on in. Certainly it's so easier than going through your fucking staff. One would think you might be here for nefarious reasons if you are sneaking in during the cover of night. Well, I wanted to crash the party, and it's always more fun, you know, to make an entrance. I recall how you enjoy making an entrance. So, over two decades since I last saw you, are you still a circus clown? Oh, <laughs> no, no, not anymore. No, I kill people now. Oh, <laughs> how afraid should I be? Well, I mean, how afraid do you want to be? Oh, well, um, well, I, uh, you know, I was teasing. I don't Sorry, really seem seen? pretty tense. How about I help you out there? Um, <laughs> you know, this is, um, getting a wee bit, is it hot? I'm starting to feel it getting very hot. Oh, what are you doing? I barely remember your name. Influence. No, didn't it have an O at the end? Like a clown name? I remember. Oh. Yeah, well, it's silent now, okay? So call me Blitz. Okay. Blitz, what are you doing to me? What do you want me to do to you? I, um, uh, well... Uh, oh. oh, my fuck. Wow. Oh, you are so old, Blitz. Oh, what are we doing? No, no, stay down, damn it. Oh, so you like to command? You like being in charge, hmm? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, so you're a kinky little imp, are you? Do you like it when I talk to you dirty? I want you to me with your imp. Yeah. Get it all the way, get it all the way through me, you. Oh, stop it. Yes, if that's what Blitzy wants. <laughs> Blitzy, oh my. I've never had anyone want me this way. You have no idea how long I've craved this kind of passion and how much it means that the one who wants me is my first ever friend. Oh. All right, fine. I can do this real fast. Oh, the more that's real fast. Sorry, I fucked your husband. What the fuck was that, oh. Was the sound of a fucking divorce? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he all over? Yeah. <sighs> See, he needs a hug. Oh, he's on into the depressants. Oh, I can 
just learned those Instagrams that the artist made. I mean, I don't really use Instagram. Out in a cage, you show your age, your sweetness has run foul without a change. Exhausted by your time on stage, and you walked in my room, and like sparks in the dark, life was suddenly thrilling and new. What's between you and I? Just a comfortable lie. I'm the fool who believes when you look in my eyes. The fuck are you doing? Reflecting. Well, stop! It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly words all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with fear on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason, to birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this fact. Wait, I just noticed something. Does, does this... Maybe I have a dirty mind, but this thing looks like a butt plug. Anyway, back to this drama. Family, but it was never enough. The only reason I have endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out now. What do you mean, out? I mean out. Out of this palace, out of my life. We are getting the divorce. How dare you? What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And Ralph... I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks. And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done. Fine. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had, and I know you will pay for it. <sighs> Stole Stella really needs a hug. Stella is a motherfucking cunt. Well, I have chickens to tend to. See you next time.